Okay, so now we're going to look at variables inside of our Python programming. And to explain as simply as I can what a variable is, um, it's better to visualize a box in front of you. So imagine you've got a box, a cardboard box, and it's empty. And we can put anything inside this box. And we can also give the box a label so we know what's inside of it. Or we know what kind of things will be inside of it. So I'm going to work through in a quick example. I'm going to keep relating it back to our box um, explanation of how a variable works. So imagine we have a box that we want to store someone's name inside of. So the label we're going to give to this box is going to be name because that's obviously what the kind of information we're storing. We're storing someone's name. So we start off by just simply typing name. We hit equals and here we can tell it what kind of information we want to put inside. So if I'm going to put someone's name it's going to be text which is stored between our speech marks. So after we've done this what we're telling Python to do is create a variable and put inside of it the text James. We hit enter and nothing happens. Don't panic. This is because we haven't told it to do anything uh, on screen just yet. So now James is stored inside of our variable called name. If I wanted to print out James, I could just type print James and that would work. However, there may be times where we don't know what the name is stored inside of our variable name. Okay, The user could enter their own name into it and we don't know what that could be. So if we say print name without the speech marks, what this is telling it to do is print out whatever's stored inside of name. So now we hit enter. It's going to look inside of our variable called name. It's going to read our text, James, and it's going to print it on the screen. Okay, so we could then put this into a sentence. We could say hello, comma, close our quote because this is the only text that we're telling it to print. And from here, we will add our variable and close the brackets. So we've told it to print hello because that's what we want to pop up on the screen and we want whatever is stored inside of name to pop up, pop up on the screen as well and the, like I've said there's instances where we would not know what's inside of name so by calling our variable we can call it via its label and it'll look inside of it and it'll, re it'll retrieve that information that's stored inside and if we hit enter it'll print what's stored inside simple enough so the reason why it's called a variable is because we have the ability to change what's stored inside of it. So later on, if we wanted to say name now equals Tom, and hit enter, again, nothing happens. But if we print, hello, and our speech marks, add our variable, and hit enter, we get hello Tom. So this has variables have the ability to change what's inside of it which is very very useful if we are creating uh, programs where lots of information changes such as games okay so a score will always change so a player adds to their score at an extra point their score would change and go up by one 